In this video, I'm going to solve the second question from chapter 16, waves 1 from Principles of Physics, 10th edition. Okay. The heaviest and the lightest string on a certain violin have the linear densities of 3.2 and 0 0.26 gram per meter. So you have two string. One is heaviest and second one is lightest, which is used in the violin. And the heaviest string linear density value is given. So I'm going to take the heaviest string. Better I can write. This is heaviest string, which is HS. And I'm going to take that heaviest string linear density is mu1, which is 3.2 gram per meter. And the lightest string, what is the value of the lightest string? So its linear density I'm going to take as mu2, which is equal to 0 0.26 gram over meter. If we need it, we can convert this gram to kilogram and meter to, sorry, a meter as it is. What is the ratio of the diameter of the heaviest string to that of the lightest string? So what we are going to find, we are going to find what should be the ratio of the diameter of heaviest to the lightest. That means we are going to find the answer for D1 over d2 so we are going to find the ratio of this value why they just mentioned the diameter because the cross section of the string is looks like an area of the circle clear so we are going to find what should be the diameter ratio that means the heaviest string diameter over the lightest string diameter we are going to find the answer clear assuming that the strings are of the same material so both string are exactly the same material only it says heaviest and the lightest and it's because when it heaviest means in terms of mass it will be different right so by using the value of mu1 and mu0 we are going to find the answer for d1 over d2 d1 stands for the heaviest string diameter and d2 stands for the lightest string diameter so for that First of all, we have to identify the rule for the linear density. What is the rule for the linear density? In the theory, we studied linear density, which is equal to mass per unit length. So, which is m over L. Clear? Now, we don't have any information about the mass, but we already studied in chapter number 14, fluids. What is the formula for the mass? We can take the formula for the mass from the density right so what is the formula for the density density rho which is equal to mass over volume right but here the most important thing okay we can rearrange this equation therefore mass which is equal to rho multiplied by volume so better i can write volume as a caps v so here we don't have the volume so what i'm going to do i'm going to first substitute this value here and then i'm going to make a small modification clear okay how we can write so I have to substitute this value of the mass here by that this linear. So still I did not use the formula for the heaviest string and the lightest string. First I am going to frame the equation for the linear density based on this rho multiplied by volume. So how I can write this mass? I have to write mass multiplied by volume over length, right? But here I am going to make a small rearrangement of the equation as we know the volume which is equal to area multiplied by length clear so i can write area multiplied by l because l multiplied by l multiplied by l which is volume am i right so how i can write because this area i can write l multiplied by l right so and this one l so l cube is nothing but volume so in this place what i am going to do i am going to take and i am going to substitute this volume as area multiplied by length therefore mu which is equal to rho <coughs> area multiplied by l over l clear so what will happen this l get cancelled with this l and we have the area and what is the area because if you see the cross section of the wire if you see the cross section of the wire the cross section of the wire is looks like an area of the circle so the area of the circle formula we know which is pi r square and I'm not going to find the value of the radius because they did not give any value for the radius. So what I'm going to do, we know the radius which is equal to diameter over 2, right? So therefore, the radius square which is equal to diameter square over 4, I'm going to substitute this here. So by that, my area formula becomes 
pi d square over 4. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to substitute here. By that, we will get a new rule, new frame of the formula for the linear density mu, which is equal to rho multiplied by pi d square over 4, right? So now this is our formula for the linear density now based on the diameter, right? So now we have the formula, we are going to substitute this formula for the heaviest string over the lightest string. So the heaviest string linear density is mu1 and the lightest string linear density is mu2 and its value is given. What's the value? <coughs> the mu1 is 3.2 and this one is 0 0.26. I'm not going to convert this gram to kilogram because we are going to find the ratio. So the unit will be cancel each other. So 3.2 over 0 0.26, right? 3.2 over 0 0.26 which is equal to how i can write i'm going to write this rule for both because just before we got the formula for the linear density what is the formula rho phi the linear density the heaviest string diameter i'm going to take d1 square over 4 divided by mu2 rho multiplied by pi and its diameter is d2 i'm going to take d2 square over 4 so by that what will happen mu1 over mu2 which is equal to rho pi d1 square over 4 if you write in terms of multiplication form this 4 will come comes to the numerator and this one rho pi d2 square so what will happen 4 get cancelled with this rho pi cancel right so only we have mu1 over mu2 which is equal to d1 square over d2 square clear but we need the answer for the, the linear density for the heaviest string over the linear density for the lightest string, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take square root on both sides, right? So by that, what will happen? This will change. So taking square root on both sides, what will happen? This part will become D1 over D2 and this part will become which part? This part will have the square root. This part will change as d1 over d2 right so taking square root on both sides by that what will happen mu1 over mu2 the square root which is equal to d1 over d2 now we have the answer for value for mu1 and mu2 so therefore the diameter one the heaviest string diameter over the lightest string diameter which is equal to the square root of linear density 1, what is that? Which is 3.2 over 0 0.26. Because just before we wrote the value here, am I right? You can see here. This value already given in the question. Clear? Okay, now if you calculate this value, you will get the answer for the ratio of the diameter of D1 over D2. So let's we calculate square root of 3.2 over 0 0.26 i got the answer as 3.508 so therefore d1 over d2 which is equal to 3.508 so this is the answer for this question clear that's it thank you